Hi, I'm Paul Horn, and welcome to CCG's Winter Guitar Festival Composer Q&A. So, when did you start composing, and why? Um, I really started composing back in probably er late 80s, early 90s, when I discovered music. I was always writing my own songs and, you know, trying to figure out little ideas. And I just, because I loved it, I enjoyed doing it. I know in the, in the 90s I got into writing music because I uh, was really into rock and roll, uh, contemporary alternative rock, and and um, always in bands, and I played drums at the time. So when I became Christian, when I got saved, uh, I wrote, uh, I started writing contemporary worship music and I wrote 70 songs and I can't say any of them were any good, but <laughs> they're in a notebook somewhere. I have no idea how they go. I think there, I think from that era, there was two songs that, that really got saved and that was No Distractions and um, Creative Simplicity. And then um, put down the music for about 11 years and when I picked it back up, I started playing... Uh, classical guitar. I've always wanted to write classical guitar. So, I mean, I always wanted to write a piece and they were very beginner oriented. And one of the reasons I like to compose now is because I want to use the music to glorify God, to bring attention to his name. So what's your composing process like now? So I would say I have composing processes. I have more than one approach. One is the creating the canvas, uh, as, as Daniel has taught us at CCG. The other is just sitting down and improvising, coming up with an idea and recording it on my phone. And then taking those ideas and expounding on them. Which piece that you've composed is your favorite and why? I have no idea. <laughs> um, uh, Seven Days at Troas is one that I like. Um, uh, the Night is Almost Gone is another one that's really just, it's got one melody and then it's expounded. It's just, I felt like when I wrote that piece, it, it was more of a, it stretched me more as a musician. What is it like being on CCG? Um, other than being like three months behind on everything, uh, I'm, uh, I like having the master classes. I like having, um, uh, I like having the input into my music. Um, and then you, it's really, you, you can work at your own pace. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of good information. That, that was another thing that, that I've always wanted to compose. The teachers that I had were good teachers, but we didn't really get into the subject of composing a whole lot. So having all this information at our fingertips or, or, or available to us, this is great. I mean, finally getting somebody to teach me how to compose something. So would you say composing... Um is the one thing that you've learned that excites you the most about CCG? Uh, being able to go into depth on the composing subjects, I think, is going into detail. You know, we're not just making a canvas. We're actually expounding on that, cam that canvas. We're, we're, we're creating something off that canvas, and then Daniel's teaching us how to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's not just go make a canvas and... But now we have the tools to make the canvas and then we can create from that. Or we can we can improvise our own stuff and expand it, you know. So what would be your advice for people who have never composed before and want to try? I have, like other people have said, just do it. Just get out there and do it. And uh, I think another thing is is that... Someone once told me that music is not supposed to be hard. Classical guitar is not supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be beautiful. 
And when you get when you have a course like CCG, you can learn how to make those pieces beautiful. You know all the little tools and tricks and everything else. So yeah, just go for it. I mean, you probably already have something that's really good, and you just need to expand on it. And CCG can help you do that.